they're putting a full court press on people who are peddling rumors that Jay-Z is a pedophile, that Jay-Z have R-worded people, or that Jay-Z has conspired or done illegal things in the nature of sexuality to the point of w making him seem similar to Diddy or anything of the sort. Obviously, we know what happened with Pierce Morgan, but what's also come to light is that, you know, they're also utilizing their resources, and it's not always going to come through a lawsuit. I keep telling you, the thing with the lawsuit is that you're going to, like, for example, UMG has wasted hundreds of thousands of dollars to defend themselves, hasn't even gotten to court yet, hasn't even got to the discovery process of any of these things yet, right? And with all due respect, does Lil Rod have hundreds of thousands of dollars? No. So they're spending out the ass. So, like, really, they a lot of companies, when you have a lot of money and the other person don't got a lot of money, you kind of don't want to have to get to court, but but you do have remedies to kind of either scare those people to fucking shut up, or if you can't scare them, you scare the platforms they're on, right? For example, you 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 scare Piers Morgan. And from what I've heard now, um, pretty much the YouTube channel that is damn near her home right now, Real Life Street Stars, apparently they have been, you know, suspended from YouTube and not necessarily their channel, but they can't upload for a while. And why can't they upload? Um, because they got a strike for platform and Jaguar, right? Um, they don't really say what the strike is about, but I could imagine, Hey, put it like this. You have Jay Z. You got Lear Cohen who runs YouTube. Bruv, your platform in this chick is only a matter of time before she says Lear Cohen's name. Lear Cohen left 300 Entertainment. Remember, she, he was running around behind Diddy, uh, behind, he was running around behind Young Thug, almost like his daddy, like Lyric Cohen, Young Thug, but he left 300 Entertainment and he went to YouTube. He runs YouTube music. And, um, you know, n not to uh, make any assumptions here, but for all y'all YouTubers, be aware, and I'm not telling y'all, I'm not hating on Jaguar, right? But, if, if y'all are getting these people and paying them money just to say shit, and every time they go on camera, they say a new allegation and a new allegation, and especially if they're starting to build, build steam, you might look at it as views, but you have to realize you're playing with billionaires, and they're not going to take it too lightly, and you shouldn't be surprised if you start seeing things start crumbling around you. Uh, Real Life Street Stars came out and, and admitted that their channel recently got, you know, um struck and this is what they said by the way they do have a video up and i don't think it's all the jaguar right content but usually usually this is a warning okay this is a channel that does these interviews okay anyway here's where they they speak on it i guess this is a guy who's the owner so shout out to him all right what's good what's good y'all all right here we go here we go um just another quick conversation i want to have with you guys uh As you can see the title, um, what I want y'all to do before we even talk about the situation that's going on, I want y'all to, of course, make sure you do the thing, hit that like button as it dries up the numbers, subscribe to the channel just to hear anything coming up or anything that's coming forward, and then, of course, hit that notification bell so, therefore, when I do go live, you know that it's me going live, and therefore, you can hop in and we can do this thing together. But as you can see, yes, no, um, the Real Life channel we are not posting any videos uh, because we can't. Uh, we actually got a strike on our channel. First a warning, then a strike uh, because of our Jaguar right content. So uh, technically, um, and this kind of more so goes into, um, I don't want to go into the details of what the strike was about, but um, it definitely was because of the Jaguar right content. Uh, maybe it's Jay-Z, maybe it's Beyonce, maybe it's the Beehive. Uh, maybe it's Diddy, maybe it's Diddy's people, maybe it's Lee or Cohen, uh, maybe it's Kamala Harris, maybe it's Ob Obama, maybe it's Biden, 